turned off too well. It's raining a lot. And I also forgot the battery in my camera. So I can't use my camera to film today. After I got to the thrift store here, I'm here at the thrift store for Thriftmas Day 3. And I, I don't have a battery for my camera. So this camera is completely useless. So I'm going to be filming everything on my phone today. But one more thing. Before I go in, I do want to show you these tote bags I made. I am so excited for these tote bags. I made these thrifting tote bags. So I'm so excited to use this today and put all the clothes I find. It is like a nice sturdy canvas tote bag that was printed locally here in Vancouver. Screen printed and it's made from 100% cotton. Oh my gosh. I'm just so obsessed with it. But that's it. That's it for today's salmon. Let's 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 go thrifting over there. This is another reason why I never do my hair because it rains. So if I did my hair, it would just get ruined in the rain anyways because it rains every single day here in Vancouver. Okay, so they have some things out here. So I'm gonna go just look at all these coats and jeans first before I go into the thrift store. Okay, so, so far I found one pair a vintage jeans it doesn't have a tag on it so i don't know how much it is but usually the jeans are six dollars so they would be three dollars for these vintage jeans you can see the tag here there it is just like to show you guys the tag because i just love seeing vintage tags but yeah i don't think i'm gonna get these they are a mom jean as you can see they're nice and high-waisted um i think i'm gonna leave them but i'm gonna keep looking so I found these pair of pants. They are not my size, but I'm thinking about just like thrift flipping them to fit me. They are a nice Calvin Klein pair and I've been wanting a pair of corduroys that are this color. So I think I might get them and just thrift flip them because I think they're going to be $3, but I have to check to make sure everything is 50% off. But this might be the first find today. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's quite noisy out here, but they have some nice leather jackets here too. And so they'd only be $10. And I think that's such a good deal for a leather jacket this like a nice vintage one got lots of nice coats here so it's not completely 50% off but anything above the waist is 50% off plus shoes and then pink dot day buy one get one for 50 cents oh I'll have to ask what that mean pink dot day is it mean pink tags I don't know we'll we'll go in let's go into the store now so unlike Value Village, these charity shops are super, super tiny. This is the whole men's section. Yeah, this whole row right here, this is all the men's section they have here. It's mainly just dress shirts, so I usually don't find a ton in the men's section. I found like the odd sweater sometimes or the odd t-shirt, but mostly it's just hand-me-down men's dress shirts and, you know, suits and that kind of stuff. So usually I shop in the women's section. The women's section is about double the size, still not that very big, but you can find some good gems at these stores. This is where I found pretty much my best one-off gems that you wouldn't really find at Value Village because, you know, all the trendy people would find it at Value Village before you got it. So if you want to find some really cool, like, one-off gems, this is where you're going to find them. Like, I found a vintage Nike t-shirt here for, I think, 50 cents or something. They have really good prices because they're not really aware of the trends. It's mainly, like, old ladies that are just volunteering there, and they're all super nice and I love the best well the best part about these stores is that 100% of the proceeds go to the hospital for this particular one and I believe they raised like 1.7 million dollars for the hospital so far so it's really good shopping at these stores just because it's going directly to the hospital not going to a company everyone's a volunteer and you can really find some good gems here so at this store I ended up only finding this one puffer and I was gonna get it or thinking about getting it, but then this one lady told me it looked kind of tight on me and just, yeah, gave me her opinion on this jacket. And then I ended up just leaving it just because I didn't need another puffer. I think it was gonna be $5 because it was $10 on for $5. So I was gonna let someone else enjoy this pretty cool coat. Can you hear me? Can you hear this dog snoring? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, just a little backstory on this snoring puppy. It's not mine. It's my sister's dog that I'm babysitting right now. So don't assume I just got another dog. So unfortunately, I didn't do too well in that store. I didn't get anything. I was thinking about getting the pair of pants, but then I remembered I have a whole bunch of pair of pants at home that I need to alter. So I thought I probably shouldn't buy more pants you know, if I haven't altered the last one. So I left those behind. And then I also found that one puffer coat, but then 
I was like, I already have a puffer coat, so I didn't get it. You know, I just had like this internal monologue kind of going on back and forth of like, should I get it or not in the store? And I ended up not getting it. So I walked away with nothing, which, you know, sometimes that happens. So let's just go to the next store and see how we do there. Let's cross our fingers. I do a little bit better at the next one because these little charity shops, they're either amazing or really terrible. That's what I noticed. Like I either do so well or really bad that's just like how it goes just because they're so small so you can get like a good batch of clothes or just a lot of bad clothes so let's hope that there is a good batch of things at the next store so i made it to the next store store now i'm here there is no lineup it looks beautiful it says there's a sale today i am so pumped so let's all cross our fingers that this one is a good one and it's not a bust like last time So this next one, this one is for a hospice. So the 100% of the proceeds for this one actually goes to a hospice. So another, you know, good cause. But this one, they're very picky. Every time you go in, you have to put gloves on. This is the only thrift store I have been to where they make you wear gloves. And I love that they're super, super cautious here. But this one is also really, really good too. I believe they have sales almost like every week. And that's the nice thing about these little charity shops is that they go to a good cause, but they also have lots and lots of sales. I think it is Thrifty Thursday, like I mentioned. So this whole store was 50% off and I believe it's like every single week or they have sales where it's like the first Saturday of the month or they have just a different deal every day which is very unlikely for the Goodwills and the Value Villages and the Savers just because they've just kind of phased that out where they don't do daily deals anymore so this is another reason why you should go to the charity shops there's lots of good deals you can find a lot of unique pieces and it's just it's just like a good cause. But if there's one negative thing about charity shops is that they're usually pretty crammed tightly. Like all the clothes are usually like crammed onto the rack so it's really hard to look through everything. Or the shoes are just like kind of in buckets. It's just, you really gotta dig through these stores. So you really gotta put some effort in. It's not like nicely organized like a Goodwill or Talese or a Value Village. Like you really gotta look for these gems. And yes, you'll get better deals and stuff like that, but it, it does require a little bit more effort at these stores. So unfortunately on this particular day, I didn't do too hot at this store. For some reason I wasn't just finding much, but usually when I go to the store, I find a ton. I don't know, their stock just turns over so frequently. I just, I always find something. They always have really unique pieces and I feel like not many people go to the store. Like sometimes there's a lineup, but not very often. But I ended up finding this one leather jacket that had all this embroidery on it, which I thought was cool. And then I also found this other vegan leather jacket, which is also really cool. I definitely feel like this is at Aritzia, 100%. But this one, I believe was like 2000s. The tag looked like it was from the 2000s and it was $20 regular. So it ended up only being $10. Okay, I'm back in the car now. That was a quick thrift with me. I'm sorry, it was so quick. Just it's so hard to film in these little stores. That's why I love going to Value Village because um, it's just way easier because there's no carts, there's nothing to hold it. So I'm like holding things while I'm trying to film and it, it's just difficult. So I ended up getting something. I got one thing. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show you my one item haul I guess I've never done a haul with one item and I'm, I'm sorry I didn't find much today but I hope you just enjoyed this thrift with me so far and then my one item haul coming up and then I also have the giveaway because I'm doing a giveaway every single day during thrift fest so stay to the end if you want to hear about the giveaway as well so I am home now I have my one item haul here and I've never done a one item thrift haul so this is something new but I guess it just goes to show that not every single time I go thrifting I do well there's sometimes where I walk out with nothing even though I never show that because usually why would you want to watch me not buy anything so this is the first time I've ever showing you not me not doing well at the thrift store but the only thing I purchased today was this vegan leather jacket which I really really love I love this color this is definitely something you would see in Aritzia right now I feel like this would be definitely in Aritzia just because this jacket kind of the style jackets very in and also the leather is very much in so I definitely think this would be at Aritzia right now. So I'm happy I didn't get it at Aritzia because I got it thrifted instead. So this one actually, I think it's from the 2000 because it actually has these shoulder pads here. And I don't, the tag, it doesn't look vintage. So I'm gonna say 2000s probably. But this jacket was $20. So I ended up getting it for $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. 
Well, this is kind of weird. Usually I pull up the next item and keep going and talk about my thrifted items, but I don't have any more thrifted items. I only had this one item. So, um, that's it for today's haul. That was a quick one. I just, that one jacket, but it's time to finally get into the giveaway today. So I'm going to show you what you could win today. So today you can win this handmade mini bag that I made in my, you know, 20 purses for 20,000 subscribers. So this is the giveaway today. So if you want to win this purse, all you have to do is follow the instructions down in the description and you'll be entered to win this bag. The contest goes for 24 hours. So if you do want to win a bag during my Thriftmas series, you do have to get here early for each video every single day. So if you're watching this late and it's past 24 hours, you can still win one in my upcoming videos because every single day I'm giving away a bag. So make sure you watch my videos early in order to enter the giveaways. But this is today's giveaway. So enter below, down, and read the description, and then enter in the comments. Everything will be down there. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed Thriftmas Day 3, and I will see you tomorrow for Thriftmas Day 4. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when my Thriftmas videos go live so you can enter the giveaway every single day, but that's it for my spiel. So I will see you tomorrow in Thriftmas Day 4. Bye, guys.